Hello, LinkedIn. Welcome to another edition of Transition Tips. Today, I got my SDB Team 1 hat, Charlie Patoon, on because I was talking to Sue about the resume, and I kind of want to share some lessons learned about that. But I also want to kind of talk about a concept, too, about being fearless. And I'm not talking door-kicking fearless. I mean, everyone joined the military is willing to put their life on the line to defend their country. This is a different kind of fearlessness. So let's talk resume. So the resume has a bunch of gamuts, a bunch of hoops you're going to have to jump through. It could be automated. It could be trying to get through the sourcer who combs LinkedIn, who combs resumes looking for things to go to the hiring manager. It could be the recruiters who take the input from the sourcers and decides what to go to the hiring manager, or it could be the hiring manager. The big thing I'm trying to get across is you need to tell a story in your resume. You have to be that storyteller. I mean, just think of all the great movies that are out there. They came out there and they made you feel emotional about a certain subject. What That's the same thing you're trying to do. And I know it sounds kind of goofy, but if you're a project manager, you want to make that person who's reading that resume connect with you, understand what you did, how hard it was, and the results that you had. And you're going to have to do this for each kind of res each kind of job you're applying to, whether it's a project manager, program manager, engineer, form that emotional connection, tell that story, build that awesome blockbuster movie that will make the hiring manager realize how great a person you are and want to hire you. The next subject I kind of wanted to touch on is being fearless. And by being fearless, I really mean don't be afraid to fail. I think you know, and you know, to be vulnerable here, I think a lot of time in military and when I got out too, I was afraid of being wrong. I was afraid of raising my hand. I was afraid of making mistakes. And because of that, I kind of stunted my learning. So my it's okay to fail. And so, you know, I can't say it enough. If you aren't failing, that means you aren't trying. P smart people, like everyone who is probably in the military, you don't learn by being successful because that means you could have been lucky or just, you know, right place, right time kind of thing. You actually learn by hitting that ditch, learning that, learning from those scars on your back, sharing those scars with other people. So please, 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 when you're transitioning from the military to the civilian workforce, don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to raise your hand. Don't be afraid to ask questions. That's what the expectations are. People aren't hiring you for where you are. They're hiring you for what you can grow into. Once again, thank you for joining me on Transition Tips. Please yeah, let me know what other topics you'd like to hear, any questions you have. You can put it down below here on LinkedIn, and it'll also have it up on YouTube. Thank you.